So, how are you today? <laughs> nice meeting you today here in Korea. <laughs> nice to meet you too. Uh, would you explain who you are to our audience? Sure, my name Even is... in Korean. Hello, <laughs> Roger Oh, very good. Uh, my, good. <laughs> my name is Roger Veer. I was uh, the first person in the entire world to start investing in Bitcoin-related startups and blockchain startups. And uh, today I'm the CEO of Bitcoin.com and very, very happy to be here in Korea. 어 저는 지금 한국에 어, 전 세계에서 비트코인에 투자한 최초의 사람이고요. 비트코인닷컴의 그 회장으로 한국을 방문했고 어, 블록체인뿐만 아니라 뭐 비트코인을 연구한 어, 최초의 사람이다. 이렇게 하셔도 되겠습니다. Anything more on your achievement so far? Um, Bitcoin.com, you're the uh, chairman of Bitcoin.com. Right. As well as uh, what other activities you could explain to Korean? Yeah, so most of my effort is focused on, on Bitcoin.com at this point, but originally, as I mentioned, I was the first uh, first angel investor in the entire world to start investing in Bitcoin-related companies. So some examples of that are Kraken, and uh, actually I put up the seed money to start Ripple as well, and uh, Blockchain.info, and uh, quite a few others as well. So basically, the, almost uh, the entire first generation of Bitcoin-related companies were, were founded with seed money that came from me. Mm. 이 사람이 최초로 엔젤 인베스먼트, 비트코인에 대한 엔젤 인베스먼트를 최초로 시작했고요. 크래킹도 했고 시작했고, 리플에도 약간 투자를 했고요. 블록체인 dot info 뭐 이런 데도 해서 블록체인에서는 뭐 모든 비즈니스를 시작한 장 본인이다 이렇게 설명합니다. Okay, um, after five or eight years of uh, your work with the Bitcoin, why do you suddenly change to a Bitcoin Cash? Or... So I've, I've, easy. Yeah, I've, I've been involved in, in Bitcoin for almost eight years now and I've been giving the exact same presentation about Bitcoin for that entire time and that presentation is that Bitcoin allows you to send and receive any amount of money with anyone anywhere in the world instantly basically for free and there's nothing anybody can do to stop you or block your payment or freeze your account and everything I've been saying for the last seven and a half years about Bitcoin still completely applies and is completely true about Bitcoin Cash. Uh, it's no longer true about Bitcoin Core. So as many of you will already know, last year in August, Bitcoin, the one single Bitcoin, split into two versions of Bitcoin. Now there's Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin Core. Bitcoin Cash works the exact same way Bitcoin did since 2011 when I first got involved. Bitcoin Core doesn't even work as money at this point. Uh, if you transfer money from one person to another using Bitcoin Core, you lose a percentage of the money that you have each time and it's not even usable as cash at this point, whereas Bitcoin Cash works as cash as described in the original Bitcoin white paper and that's the characteristic that made Bitcoin become this worldwide phenomenon that it is today. So, so I didn't you... change. Mm -hmm. uh, Bitcoin Cash is the exact same version of Bitcoin that I got involved with to begin with. Mm -hmm. and that's a lot to translate. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, how long does it take to use Bitcoin uh, Core compared to Bitcoin uh, Cash? So it depends a lot. So uh, in December of last year, the average confirmation time for a Bitcoin Core transaction was on the order of uh, several days, actually, mm -hmm. because the network was so full and there were so many transactions lined up mm -hmm. waiting to be confirmed in, in the blocks. Mm -hmm. uh, whereas Bitcoin Cash, your transaction is always confirmed in the very next block, and it's not double spendable before that anyhow. So Bitcoin Cash transactions are basically instant. Mm -hmm. Bitcoin Core transactions might take 10 minutes or they might take several days and you really don't know. Mm -hmm. Uh, where Bitcoin Cash transactions are basically free and basically instant. Yeah, 8년 동안 지금 Bitcoin uh, PR을 하러 돌아다니셨고, Bitcoin이 좋다, Bitcoin을 사라, 뭐 Bitcoin이 정말 세상을 바꾸는 이런 무기다 이렇게 이야기했어요. 그래서 Bitcoin은 어, 어디에서나 어느 세계에서나 어느 어, 국가에서든지 항상 사용할 수 있다. 그리고 그 누구도 어, 멈출 수 없는 이런 거대한 세력이다 이렇게 얘기했습니다. 그런데 어, 이 사람이 last year when we had this uh, Bitcoin Cash last year which month you were saying? Uh, July, August 1st. August 1st. 그런데 작년 어, 1월 어, 8월 1일 날 지금 이제 Bitcoin Cash가 나오면서 이 사람은 지금 Bitcoin Cash에 대한 전도사로 일을 하고 있습니다. 왜냐하면 비트코인은 지금 현재 만약에 돈을 보낼 때 비트코인 코아라 그래요. 그걸 BTC라 그러고 비트코인 캐시는 굉장히 빨라요. 인스턴트 하고 뭐 시, 빨리 걸리면 금방 그 자리에서 돈이 갑니다. 내가 우리 아들이 미국에 있는 아들한테 보낼 수 있어요. 하지만 비트코인 
코아 BTC는 several days 뭐 며칠이 걸릴 수도 있고 어떨 때는 10분이 걸리지만 오래 가요. 그래서 이제 어, 나는 비트코인 캐시를 지금 전도하고 있는 이런 상황입니다. 이렇게. Uh, that is very good. I can understand Bitcoin, BTC and BCH, two, two different things. And you have to promote more in Korea. Yeah, Bitcoin BCH cash. and BTC, very different things. One is usable as cash, mm -hmm. the other isn't usable for, for much of anything at this point. Mm -hmm. Bitcoin cash is a young girl, so it's a very good thing. 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 It's a very good uh, why Bitcoin Cash is, is more like Bitcoin you explain, right? And do you have any more merit or better, cheaper, of course? <laughs> what other things that you can mention? Bitcoin Cash is better than Bitcoin Core. Sure, Bitcoin Cash is cheaper to use, mm -hmm. faster to transact in, and more reliable to transact in. So if it's cheaper, mm -hmm. faster, and more reliable, and more private as well, uh, it makes it better money than Bitcoin Core. Uh, so the, the big thing that Bitcoin Cash has to at this point is to grow its network effect and have more people around the world using it. We've built a really great tool. It's only in English at the moment, but uh, mm -hmm. any of the people that watch this, if they go to free.bitcoin.com, we will send them about, uh, what is it, about 100 won worth of Bitcoin Cash for free. They don't have to do anything and they can see just how fast and instant and reliable it is by going to free.bitcoin.com. Free.bitcoin.com. Yeah. Oh, F-R-E-E, -E, right? Yeah, free. Okay. Uh, Bitcoin Cash is cheaper, faster, 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 managed to wrestle control of the BTC version of, of Bitcoin Core. They openly say that they want the blocks to be full on their blockchain, but if the blocks are full, that means that not every transaction can be included in the next block, and everyone has to bid against each other to be included in the next block, and you have this backlog of transactions waiting to be included in the blocks, but if you're trying to transact in it, you want your transaction to be included right there in the very next block, and as if that wasn't bad enough, they also implemented this thing called replace by fee, which allows the transactions to be changed at any time up until the point they're recorded in the block. So it makes it very, very uh, unreliable for use as money. Bitcoin Core and BTC are Bitcoin block. is have to block it, but it's to block it, but it's to block it. Uh, cash 같은 경우에는 uh, 안 쳐도 된다. 거기 빨리 빨리 트랜잭션 빨리 하려면은 빨리 움직일 수 있다라고 이야기를 했고요. 어 uh, 만약에 비트코인 코아 같이 BTC를 이용할 때는 이제 그 속도가 너무 느린 거예요. 왜냐면 그 블록을 다 채우고 그 다음에 블록을 채워가지고 거기에서 많이 트랜잭션을 하려면은 백로그가 깁니다. 그래서 길어서 이것을 처리하는 데 시간이 오래 걸려서 지금 뭐 하루 또는 뭐 며칠이 걸려야 돈이 전달이 되는 이런 상황이에요. 그래서 아무튼 어, 비트코인 캐시가 더 낫다 이런 주장을 하고 계시고요. If you want it, you know, uh, www.freefre.bitcoin.com에 들어가면 어, 일단 뭐 들어가면은 그저 곧장 100원씩 나눠주고 <웃음> 캐시를 받을 수 있습니다. What else can we do with the freebitcoin.com? Yeah, so on free.bitcoin.com you can yeah. get your free Bitcoin cash mm -hmm. and the rest of the website is primarily in English but we have all sorts of news, we have a, a forum, you can actually play games with your Bitcoin, you can learn all about how Bitcoin works. So it's a fantastic resource mm -hmm. for people to learn about Bitcoin and, and use them. Oh, so free.bitcoin.com. You can get it. 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 You can get You can get it. 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 You why Bitcoin Cash is uh, more important for the whole crypto sort of uh, currency world? Sure, so 
to. They're called cryptocurrencies because they're meant to be used as a currency. Mm -hmm. And so Bitcoin mm -hmm. Cash has the best characteristics to be used as a currency because mm -hmm. it's fast, cheap to use, and reliable, mm -hmm. and uh, has a giant network effect, and it's, it's a fantastic thing to use as a mm -hmm. currency in commerce. And we're starting to see that happen all over the world, and especially in Korea. Bitcoin Cash is uh, already very popular here, and many merchants are accepting Bitcoin Cash as payment in Korea and Japan and the rest of the world as well. Mm. Uh, Bitcoin Cash is why cryptocurrency world is so important. I was asked to ask about cryptocurrency. Cryptocurrency is because of the currency, so it's important to use the Bitcoin Core, BTC, it's very slow. But Bitcoin Cash is fast, cheap, reliable, and easy. It's very fast, 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 Cash da, 이런 주장을 합니다. So, um, do you have your representative or Korea office here in Korea or in Japan? So we have uh, two people helping us directly in mm -hmm. Korea, mm -hmm. um, and maybe it's, maybe someday we'll actually open an actual office for Bitcoin.com, but mm -hmm. we don't have one in Korea yet. Mm -hmm. Okay, 지금 현재. But you can apply at jobs.bitcoin.com if you want to help see, us spread. Yeah. Jobs. Jobs.bitcoin.com. Bitcoin.com. Yeah. If okay. you want to help us spread Bitcoin Cash. In yeah, that's very good. Uh, 만약에 이제 Bitcoin uh, Cash를 여기서 홍보하거나 뭘 원하시면 또 Bitcoin.com으로 연락을 해서 그죠? 그게 어, 여러분이 apply 할 수도 있고요. 지금 현재는 한국에서 두 사람이 겪고 있고 한국에 지금 현재 사무실 없습니다. 사무실이 오픈돼 있는 건 없습니다. Okay. So how do you see the Korean um, market? For Bitcoin Cash, is it big? Is it small? Uh, is it medium <laughs> size? How important is it? Um, it Korea is incredibly important. It's one of the countries that's leading the entire adoption of cryptocurrencies mm -hmm. more than just about any other. Mm -hmm. And so, because Bitcoin Cash works so well as cash, and Korean people love cash, I think <laughs> Bitcoin Cash is a great fit for Korea. So we're going to see lots of adoption in, in Korea. Yeah, yeah. Right? You like cash, yeah. right? Yeah, yes, Bitcoin Cash. I have some. <laughs> Yeah, it goes up and down, but <laughs> I know that in the beginning when your Bitcoin Cash is launched, you know, Korea was the one, the place to just buy Bitcoin Cash. It was, some people are saying it was some sort of, <laughs> you know, strategy. Uh, was it um, you that promoted here in Korea? That's why it boomed here in Korea. Is there anything story behind it? No, I, I think Korean people are very smart. <laughs> And they realized that Bitcoin Cash mm -hmm. is usable as cash. And Korean people love cash, so they went and bought lots of Bitcoin Cash. Okay, so yeah. I think it's just as simple as that. Bitcoin Cash works as cash. Yeah. People like cash, so yeah. we bought it up. Korean people, when they bought Bitcoin Cash, they bought a lot of Bitcoin Cash. So maybe there was a big deal. I'm wondering if there was a big deal. I'm wondering if there was a big deal. I'm wondering if there was a Bitcoin Cash 쪽으로 몰려는 거다 어, 이렇게 좀 이야기를 하고 계십니다. And also you're saying holding is important. Why holding is not? I mean, the holding is not important. Uh, is not good for ecosystem. Spending it and I think I think holding is just fine. But at the end of the day, if you want to use something as a store of value, it has to have another mm -hmm. use case. And that other use case in cryptocurrencies is mm -hmm. to use them as a currency. That means to buy and sell things and engage in commerce using them as a currency. And so it's, it's right there mm -hmm. in the title of the original Bitcoin white paper. It's a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system, right? A cash system means you're using it to buy and sell things. Mm -hmm. And if you're using it to buy and sell things, then you can also use it to save your money. Just like mm -hmm. people save their money in Korean won mm -hmm. because they can spend Korean won everywhere in Korea. So if we make it so people can spend Bitcoin cash everywhere in Korea, mm -hmm. people can also save their money in Bitcoin cash. 왜 지금 물어보는 게 제가 어, 비트코인은 사람들이 사가지고 계속 가지고 있어요. 그런데 홀딩 하는 게 크게 좋지 않고 스펜딩 하는 게 좋다 이런 주장을 많이 하니까 왜 그러냐 이렇게 얘기했더니 역시 비트코인 캐시는 캐시다 그죠? 그래서 유즈 캐시 캐시를 많이 활용을 해라. 그리고 어, 원래 비트코인을 만든 자토시가 피어투 피어 그죠? ASB에게 가는 일렉트로닉 캐시라고 했어요. 이것도 캐시라고 했으니까 많이 활용을 해라. 이 홀딩 하는 것보다 그죠? 스펜딩 
어, 유징 하는 게더 우리에게 도움이 된다 라는 이런 주장을 하십니다 오케이 제프 뷰릭 어, I love you, Julian. I watch his video all the time. I'm very glad to hear that. Yeah. <laughs> There are not many people watching it in Korea. <laughs> And what is the relationship with you, Jeff? Is he coming here? Uh, maybe he'll come to Korea at some point. So my relationship basically is that I'm a fan as well. And I enjoy watching mm -hmm. his videos and I enjoy mm -hmm. his content. And I think it's very good. And I enjoy going to his conferences. But I don't speak to him on a regular basis. I'm not in regular contact with him, but uh, mm -hmm. I love the content that he puts out on, on the internet and I love the message that he's spreading. Yeah, he moved from Canada to... Mexico. Mexico, yeah. <laughs> What is it, Acapulco or something, right? Yeah, he's in Acapulco, Mexico. <laughs> yeah. so. His background is always you know, wide open sea or something. Beautiful yeah. background. <laughs> yeah. Okay, 제가 달라 비즐란테를 만든 그게 조직이에요. 어, 제프에 대해서 물어봤어요. 그 사람이 항상 he promotes Bitcoin Cash all the time. <웃음> so, 어, 그, 그 사람이 Bitcoin Cash가 좋다 뭐 이런 이야기를 많이 합니다. 그리고 그 사람은 지금 캐나다 사람인데 어, 멕시코의 아카풀코로 이사를 가서 거기서 많은 이제 활동을 하고 있고 he organizes quite a lot of programs, right? He had organized recently um, America, Poco? Poco? Yep. Yeah, something. <laughs> so many people came. Do you a know? lot, yeah. It was that? totally yeah. sold out. I thousand. think well over a thousand, I well think. Thousand. So it was totally sold out. I think they could have had significantly more people attending Very if they had a bigger too. venue. So next year it'll be even bigger. Maybe, maybe I'll get to see you in Mexico next year for <laughs> Anarcho Poco. Yeah, I went to Mexico several months ago. so. <laughs> I may be there again. <laughs> and I saw actually at this conference there were some other Korean people that came to, to Mexico. Really? And so they saw me this morning and said, Hey, I saw you in Mexico. Oh, nice goodness. to see you again. So. <laughs> okay. Um, he is uh, Acapulco, as a young man, he was a young man. 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 크립토 커런시를 이용하면서 세상이 많이 바뀔 것이다 이런 얘기입니다. He's always talking about no nation state is <웃음> you know necessary and uh, is he actually sort of threatened by uh, some of these uh, big sort of CIA, FBI or he was always you know mentioning that somebody is following me or somebody is he's a bit worried, right? right? Because he's always saying that no nation states are, uh, you know, we don't necessary. need them anymore. We don't need them anymore. Oh. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. So any, anytime you're trying to change the status quo, it can be very dangerous. So mm -hmm. um, I don't think he's mm -hmm. unjustly paranoid about those mm -hmm. sorts of things. I, I think it, it's a real possibility. Oh, oh really? Yeah. There are some evidence. If any time you're trying to change the world, uh, change the, world. the existing world order will, will do what it can to stop you from doing so. Mm -hmm. uh, why do you think we don't need them anymore? Need the nation states anymore? So because lose of control of money is the one sort of factor. What other factors? Well, even philosophically, if you take a moment to look at what it is, you have one really small group of people mm -hmm. bossing everybody else around and telling them what they can or can't do. Mm -hmm. And if you disobey those people, they'll hurt you. Mm -hmm. But what gave them the authority to, to control my life any more than I to have the authority to control their life. If I started bossing them around and sending them threatening letters in the mail, they would think that I was a crazy person. But when they do the exact same thing to me, mm -hmm. people just say, oh, it's, it's the government, so that's okay. So another example here uh, in South Korea, for example, mm -hmm. um, if I went and told you, you have to work for me for two years and you're not allowed to do anything else and you'll go to jail if you do something else, mm -hmm. you think I was a really bad guy. Mm -hmm. But the people in the Korean government do that to every single young Korean man. They have to serve in the Korean military thing for a couple of years while they're very young and if they refuse, they go to jail. Well, there's a word for that when you force people to work against their will. It's called slavery. 
And so basically the Korean government is claiming the right to enslave every young Korean man. And of course the things they do in North Korea are much, much worse. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't mean that the government in Korea isn't, South Korea isn't doing bad things. And so anytime anybody anywhere in the world is doing something bad, we should point that out and say, hey, this should stop. You don't have the right to enslave people and force them to work against their will, even if you call yourselves a, a nation state or a government. And it's mm -hmm. not just South Korea, it's, it's all sorts of countries all over the world doing those sorts of things. And I think uh, when people stop and think for a moment, there's only, mm -hmm. there's only three options. Either somebody else owns you, mm -hmm. everybody owns a little bit of everybody, or everybody owns themselves. And I'm a fan of the idea that everybody owns themselves. And if you own yourself, then these other people don't have a right to tell you what you can and can't do with your own life because it belongs to, to each mm -hmm. of us. And that's a, yes. a lot to translate, <laughs> but I'll, I'll let you do your best. So. Okay. Um, North Korea actually have a 10 years of service, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Even worse. worse. How long is South Korea? About <laughs> two, two years? years? Yeah, less than so, two years nowadays. Yeah. Less than two years. A okay. year and uh, six months, a year and, you know, two, two months. Now it's getting shorter. So shorter. life is very short. I'm sure young people would rather spend the year and a couple months on, on things that they would choose. Yeah, there are some, uh, a religion which refuses uh, military service. And uh, they do not go to jail anymore. So I'm glad you yeah, that. <laughs> religion, certain religion, one religion here in Korea. 이 사람이 지금 어, 왜 국가가 필요 없냐 앞으로 이렇게 얘기했더니 어, 역사를 봐라. 어, 항상 왕이라든가 아주 파워를 가진 사람이 여러 사람들을 이제 군림하고 보스, 어, 보스로 뭐 야단을 치거나 그래서 어소리티 권위를 가져가지고 컨트롤 하려고 합니다. 이 컨트롤 하려고 하는데 똑똑한 개개인들이 점점 자기가 똑똑한 어, 어, 지식을 가지게 되고 권력을 가지게 되면 앞으로 이런 것들이 불가능해져요. 예, 생각을 해봐라. 이미진 이렇게 얘기합니다. 만약에 어떤 사람이 어떤 어, 그 어소리티가 당신은 내 밑에서 2년간 아무것도 하지 말고 일을 해라. 라고 한다면 그것은 바로 그게 슬레이블이다. 그렇죠? 노예이다. 한국이 바로 그 짓을 하고 있는데 그게 뭐냐면 군에 군대에 가야 한다라고 모든 젊은이들을 불러가지고 정부를 위해서 일을 하라라고 한다. 그거는 아마 노예라고 우리가 부르고 특히 북한은 더 하다. 북한은 내가 10년이다 이렇게 하는 걸 몰랐는데요. 그래서 앞으로 미래의 세상에서는 어, 누군가가 누구를 온 소유하는 이런 세상이 있고 누군가가 누구를 절반을 소유하는 세상이 있고 아니면은 내가 나 전체를 소유하는 이런 세상이 올 거다. 3번 네, 나는 everybody owns themselves 자기 스스로 자기를 소유하는 이런 세상으로 가게 되지 않나 그게 바로 국가가 필요 없다라는 우리의 주장입니다. What are the reasons that we do not need them? We do not need the nation states. Well, basically at, the, at their core it's just a, a monopoly. Mm -hmm. on the on violence mm -hmm. and we're taught in school growing up that monopolies provide poor quality service mm -hmm. at a high price mm -hmm. and so when and we're taught that monopolies are bad mm -hmm. so it's very very clear like the fact that there's not a monopoly when it comes to making cars or making mm -hmm. uh, you know electronics or computers mm -hmm. you know cars are, are relatively cheap and mm -hmm. quality is good and the computers get cheaper and better every year mm -hmm. right the handy phones in Korea get better and mm -hmm. cheaper every year because there's competition mm -hmm. well why shouldn't we have competition in the areas that the government is generally viewed as providing so competition in law enforcement and, and the provision of safety services. Let's have some competition rather than a monopoly because anytime you have a monopoly, you're going to have a high price and bad quality products. And that's what we have with the services that come from governments. Mm -hmm. uh, 정부는 monopoly를 하고 있습니다. <laughs> 어, 모든 정부에서 하는 이야기를 전부 다 들을 필요는 없고요. 문화풀리는 항상 나쁩니다. 저, 자동차를 만드는 회사가 딱 하나 다 현대만 있다 그러면 지 혼자 자기 만들어 하죠. 경쟁자가 있어야 합니다. 그래서 항상 커피티션이 있어야지 더 좋고 인프로브 할수 있어요. 어, 정부는 문화풀리입니다. 그래서 우리는 정부가 필요 없다라고 이야기를 하고 있고 앞으로 그런 세상이 올 것입니다. 라고 이야기합니다. I know that you are involved with the free society. You did your research. Yeah, I want to be a free... I'm the representative of um, <laughs> Sea Steady. Okay. As well as um, Fit Nation. You know, Susan. Fit Nation. Susan, yeah, yeah, Susan. Susan. <laughs> as well as another one. I have a... I'm Korea representative, Korea director for those. <laughs> 
and I'm trying to. What was the one who is in Serbia and Croatia? Yeah, Liverland. Liverland. Yeah. Yeah, Liverland. I'm trying to approach them, saying I want to be a <laughs> Korean director for Liverland. Uh, Susan came. I I invited her over several times, and Susan came. So free society. What is it? So free study, we've raised more than a hundred million dollars of private capital so far. Hundred million dollars. Yeah. Mm. U.S. dollars. So that's, that's a lot of money. Yeah, okay. And we're planning to come up with a lot more than that. Mm -hmm. And we're going to go to some traditional governments around the world, and we're going to approach them and say, "Hey, we want you to sell us some land that you're not using currently, but grant us sovereignty with that land, mm -hmm. and we'll set up the world's very first non-nation, mm -hmm. in which we can actually see what happens when we have some competition in a market." Uh, in the services that governments are traditionally viewed as having provided. And uh, if you're you know, a libertarian and you think this is a good idea, you should support our project. Mm -hmm. But if you think we're completely wrong and that we need governments or the world would fall apart, you should also support our project because if we fail miserably and it turns into some horrible <laughs> thing, all the people that think we need government will have something they can point to. See, yeah. see? that's see? what happens it's when you don't have a government. Yeah, so, so no matter which which opinion you have, you should yeah. be supporting our project with the Free Society. Okay. Uh, free Society is like the Free Society is like the Free Society. The Seasteading Institute, the Bit Nation, etc. If you don't have a country, 어 가상 국가를 만들거나 어, 그렇게 하고 있는데 프리 소사이티도 지금 어, 땅을 사거나 아니면 섬을 살려고 하고 있고요. 지금 현재 에, 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 1조 원 정도로 많네. 와우, it's increased to 100 million US dollars. From my last check up, it was less than this. This has been 100 million from day one. Yeah, day one, so, really? Yeah. Oh. Okay. But we're planning to have a way for the public to participate, and mm -hmm. I think it's not unreasonable to think that we can raise several billion dollars. Several billion dollars. Yeah. Okay. Uh, 그래서 거기에다가 non nation 뭐 이런 거 경쟁력 있는 거를 만들고요. 국가가 사실상 필요 없다라고 이야기한 사람들이 libertarian이라고 합니다. 이런 자유주의자들이 어, 많이 모여서 앞으로 지금 현재 on 100 million US dollars니까. 어뭐 조금 있으면은 그죠 10조 100조 정도도 모을 수 있다 이렇게 이야기를 하고 있습니다. Do you have a certain sort of area where you are focusing on, like a, you know, Seasteading Institute um, is now buying somewhere around Tahiti? Tahiti yeah, Tahiti. Um, that's a French sort of a region. <laughs> they have signed a contract with them, and they trying to move people to Tahiti. 2020 or 2022, somewhere around, some 40 households. Yeah, so we're looking for areas much close to, much closer to the rest of the world, mm -hmm. um, with with you know access to trading partners. Trade is incredibly important, and in mm. so the areas that we're the most interested in are actually uh, places in Europe and places mm. in in uh, North and South America. Mm. So. Okay, you're looking for an island or rather... It doesn't need to be an island at, at all. So mm -hmm. just uh, any place where we can actually have some uh, some land with some sovereignty that uh, we can try this experiment of having a free market in, in all services and, and see what happens. And do the uh, all the transactions with the Bitcoin Cash. I'm sure, I'm sure Bitcoin <laughs> Cash will be very, very popular there. But at the end mm -hmm. of the day, there won't be a monopoly as to what type of money people can use. People mm -hmm. will be free to use whatever type of money they think is best. What kind of government sort of uh, format, like uh, Liberland, they say, you know, direct democracy. So in, in English, you'll be English speaking nation, right? Sure, so in, in the free society, there will be an initial constitution, but there won't be any centralized government at all. Mm -hmm. People will just be able to be, free, they'll be free to do whatever they want that's peaceful. So long as it's in line with the original Therefore, constitution. Therefore, there is no parliament or anything like no that. Parliament, no, no, no parliament, no elected officials, no politicians. That's good. <laughs> that's, that's great. Good. It's wonderful. <laughs> we have to get rid of all the politicians. There's enough politicians in the world already. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Well, here in Korea, politicians are very powerful. Mm -hmm. However, um, yeah, their days are going, you know, going down here. <laughs> going down the drain. Anyway, so, uh, so free societies. <laughs> When do you sort of uh, expect to have some sort of a contract or within five years, within 10 years? Um, ideally within this year. Within this year? Yeah, that's, that's oh the goal. So, mm. yeah, hopefully within 2018. 2018. So there are some um, negotiations that are going on at the moment. There's, there's definitely some talks and uh, we have some 
ongoing discussions with a couple of different places. Mm -hmm. If you do the like uh, Seasteady Institute, um, you know they have uh, energy with the uh, solar panels, solar farm, or solar, you know, as well as um, RLG, micro RLG type of uh, food, and they are very anxious to have a uh, sort of medical services within it, so that they do not have to have a tax. Sounds great. Yeah. Do, Sounds you, great. do you have some sort of ideas like that too? I think people will be able to figure out what the most economically efficient use of the land is, mm -hmm. and they'll build businesses that, that are useful for them. So mm -hmm. whatever people want to do, uh, as Leonard Reed said, anything that is peaceful. Mm -hmm. right? That's a good. That's a good way, way to live by anything that's peaceful. Okay. Who is he? Um, so Leonard Reed was the founder of the Foundation yeah. for Economic Education, mm. and uh, he wrote a book actually entitled uh, "Anything That's Peaceful." And so he was in the economist earlier in the, mm. in the last century and uh, a guy whose thoughts influenced me mm. uh, as a kid when I was reading some of his books when I was younger. Mm. So the free society is currently currently Okay, thank you very much uh, for the free society. Uh, like Bitcoin Cash and all the other cryptocurrencies are now sluggish at the moment. Uh, compared to the uh, last um, December or when do you think this will be sort of um, sorted out or SEC's regulations and European regulations whatever the regulations will be friendly to us? Um, I don't know when they're going to be friendly to us but I, I think they haven't been nearly as hostile as a lot of people expected early on so mm -hmm. all in all I think they have been pretty friendly. If you look at the prices of cryptocurrencies today they're still much 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 higher than they were last year at this time. Mm -hmm. um, and so at the end of the day, if you're looking to invest in different cryptocurrencies, look at the ones that are the most useful. Whichever ones are the most useful, I think are going to do the best from an from a investment standpoint. Mm -hmm. uh, and Bitcoin Cash to me seems to be right up near the, the very top of that list. Mm -hmm. uh, 지금 현재 크립토 어, 지금 높은 것이다. 아, 그리고 어, 비트코인 캐시 같은 것처럼 유스풀하게 캐시로 사용할 수 있거나 아니면은 아주 백그라운드가 그저 튼튼한 이런 코인들을 사는 것이 더 좋지 않겠나 어, 이렇게 이야기를 합니다. 어, do you have anything else in mind rather than uh, Bitcoin Cash? Are you going to have another sort of an ICO, develop another coin even faster than Bitcoin Cash or anything? Uh, we, we've, we've been discussing doing an ICO with a, a portion of the Bitcoin.com website. We, we haven't announced anything publicly, but we thought it might be interesting to do an ICO with the, with the games portion of Bitcoin.com. Mm -hmm. We've been talking with some lawyers to see what uh, what their opinion is on doing that, but I, I think that would probably be hugely popular. Wow, Bitcoin.com is 사람이 만든 거예요. Bitcoin 대해서 최초로 투자한 회사예요. Bitcoin.com이 거기에서 게임 쪽으로 어, 해서 ICO를 할까라고 지금 현재 변호사들하고 어, 이야기를 좀 하고 있는 그런 사람입니다. Would you like to say uh, uh, some advice to Korean? Investors, or would you like to say anything about yourself or final sort of comments? Sure, so you're, you're lucky to be in Korea because there's so much exciting stuff happening here. So look for the cryptocurrencies that are the most useful in commerce, and those are the ones that are going to be the most uh, successful from an investment standpoint. Uh, I think Bitcoin Cash is at the top of that list. And uh, for those of you that uh, can read English well, uh, Bitcoin.com is a fantastic resource to learn all about all of these different cryptocurrencies. Mm -hmm. 어, 지금 한국이 크립토커런시 암호화폐에 대해서 아직까지 부정적인 면도 있고 뭐 사람들이 잘 이해를 하지 못하는데 이 크립토커런시가 가장 훌륭한 기술이고요. 어, 그리고 크립토커런시 중에서는 또 비트코인 캐시가 아주 좋은 이렇게 활용하기에 좋은 그런 코인이다라고 조언을 해줍니다. I think uh, 
I've asked all the questions that I had. And tell your friends and tell your family and tell everybody you know about cryptocurrencies. Help them set up a wallet and show them how it works because uh, there isn't any one single company backing uh, Bitcoin Cash or, or most of these other cryptocurrencies. So it's up to us to spread the word and show our friends and family how they work. Mm-hmm. Uh, Bitcoin Cash wallet, you know, so you have a wallet? Of course, uh, the Bitcoin.com wallet. Yeah, Bitcoin.com wallet, okay. Uh, it's a and it's available wallet. in Korean. So, uh, yeah, really? Yeah, Korean. If you go to... Hangul wallet is your Bitcoin.com wallet. Oh, Bitcoin.com wallet, okay. Very <laughs> good, Bitcoin.com. Uh, 가면은 wallet is 있으니까 거기에다가 돈을 옮겨 놓으면은 좀 무사하게 이제 해킹 없이, no hacking. No hacking. No hacking. And you can use multi-signature wallets too, so it's very... You can use multi-signature wallets too, so it's very convenient for business. So you can have multiple people within the business have one key to the wallet, but it takes multiple keys to send money out of the wallet. So it makes it very safe for businesses wow. to use for large amounts of money. Okay. Do you use a bio sort of, uh, you know, eyes, iris and voice? No, not, not, like not yet. yet. Maybe in the future. We have a Korean one. Oh, really? says that. It says that. It should cure. Wow. And I, I also represent switch token, which is to switch from fossil to solar. Oh. I represent that and momentum. The world is ready for that switch. Actually. Yeah, yes, yes, the, the switch. Okay, thank you very much. I'll see you somewhere in... Maybe uh, Mexico next Mexico, year? Mexico, Acapulco. Maybe, okay. maybe Acapulco. Thank you so very much. Good. Very good, thank you.